Superfood Evolution presents Homemade Sauerkraut Basic Recipes and Fermentation Techniques Making your own sauerkraut or raw cultured vegetables is a great skill to have if you've adopted this fermented food as a frequently eaten condiment. We discussed the health properties of sauerkraut in a previous video, but here we will share two delicious beginner recipes for those of you, like us, who prefer the benefits of homemade versions over store-bought varieties. Although the idea of making your own from scratch might seem a little intimidating at first, we are here to guide you through what is really a very simple process. The great part about making sauerkraut is that you don't need to go out and buy a bunch of special tools or equipment. A basic quart-sized glass jar and food processor is all you need to successfully make and pack your ingredients. Alternatively, you can also grate and chop your cabbage and vegetables if you don't happen to own a food processor. The sauerkraut recipes in this video are quick ferments of between 4 to 10 days depending on how you like them. We personally culture ours for at least 7 days which produces a well-developed, perfectly pickled sauerkraut that is extremely nutritious as well as delicious. Why make your own sauerkraut? Generally, homemade sauerkrauts commonly have greater amounts of friendly flora and enzyme content because they are not intended to render a uniform, mass-produced product. Preparing raw cultured veggies by the quart or gallon is additionally a good way to ensure you have plenty on hand and is much more cost-effective than buying expensive commercial brands. Custom-made sauerkrauts also give you the freedom to use whatever raw veggies and spices you want to include for personalized taste and or specific health goals. Although we recommend starting out with the basic recipe to begin with, there is a lot of room for creativity and producing your own unique blends as you learn the process. Another benefit to making your own is that you get the option of fermenting them for longer periods of time. Sauerkraut, when kept at cooler temperatures between 55 to 65 degrees for over a month, can develop deeper flavors and provide increased health benefits. In many parts of Asia, they customarily bury 5 to 10 gallon crocs in the ground for several months or even up to a year. Making sauerkraut can be a fun and artistic endeavor that you may wish to share or create with a friend or group of friends. In many traditions around the world, there are ritual seasons or moon cycles where groups gather to make their fermented vegetables for the entire year. Ideally, you want an indoor temperature of about 70 degrees for short ferments. This can be regulated by keeping your jars in a sanitized empty cooler or ice chest of some kind. But cupboard spaces also work quite well if your pantry or kitchen atmosphere remains fairly stable at between 67 to 72 degrees. The brining technique. The number one best way to make sauerkraut for optimal results and flavor is to make sure your veggies are packed to the top in brine liquid. A brine is a liquid combination of natural juices, pure water, sea salt, and culture starter. It is often added to protect the vegetables from the unwanted aerobic organisms that can grow on the exposed surfaces. The brining technique ensures your sauerkraut veggies are submerged under liquid that basically protects them from airflow and possible contaminants. After your sauerkraut is firmly pressed down and packed into the jar, the amount of brine liquid should cover your ingredients. Using a weight. Sometimes it is necessary to use a heavy weight on top of your cabbage leaves. They are often referred to as crock rocks. They can be purchased in the form of glass or ceramic weights specifically designed to fit wide mouth mason jars or you can alternatively use a sanitized heavy rock or a jar filled with water. This is to make sure your vegetables remain submerged underneath the brine liquid as they sometimes tend to float to the top, leaving the brine juices at the bottom of the jar and the ingredients exposed to air. Weights keep your veggies protected from oxidation and a white sediment that sometimes forms on the surface. It is not always required, however, if your kraut is packed tight. 
Although some people never use weights, we like to use them to ensure an oxygen-free fermentation space, which is the best possible environment for culturing your sauerkraut. It is always a good idea to check your sauerkraut after one or two days to make sure it is adequately covered in the brine juices. If not, you can always add more water or use a weight if you are not already using one. How does fermentation work? Most all fruits and vegetables have naturally occurring lactobacillus present on their surfaces and these organisms convert sugars into lactic acid, undergoing a process called lactofermentation when cultured. In a nutshell, you are taking fibrous raw vegetable material, breaking it down, and allowing it to ferment in its own juices or brine solution. As the acid level of the ferment becomes higher, this allows for various strains or friendly flora to proliferate and additionally protects it from unfriendly organisms. The pH level continues to lower as any remaining proteins, sugars, and starches are fermented by various strains of friendly microbes, lactobacilli. This phase improves flavor significantly by removing acidity and or bitterness present at the previous stages and when consumed provides an alkaline food rich in enzymes, vitamin C, and of course lots of beneficial microflora for a healthy digestive tract. The Sauerkraut Recipes The process of making cultured raw veggies or sauerkraut is simple and easy and can be accomplished by most anyone with the desire, motivation, and some basic kitchen tools. It is always very important to remember to keep everything as sterile as possible, washing all jars, bowls, and knives in soapy hot water before using them. In addition, never place tight lids on your fermenting jars of sauerkraut as carbon dioxide will build up and may cause possible explosive reactions. basic sauerkraut recipe. Ingredients. One small head of green cabbage, three leaves of chopped Napa cabbage, three medium carrots, one teaspoon of minced peeled ginger root, one quarter teaspoon of culture starter, one tablespoon of dill weed, a half a teaspoon of Celtic sea salt, a half a lemon juiced, three quarter cup of filtered water or more if necessary. Directions. Core and chop the green cabbage and place in food processor. Process until fine and moist. Place in large bowl. Next add carrots to processor. Process until fine and moist. Add to bowl of cabbage. Chop three leaves of Napa cabbage. Add to bowl and mix all ingredients with ginger and dill. Making the brine. Take one quarter cup of your processed veggie mix and create a brine. In a blender or food processor, using the water, sea salt, culture starter, and lemon juice. Thoroughly mix the brine in with the remaining vegetables with a utensil or clean hands. Let it sit covered in a bowl for 15 minutes. This is your kraut ready to be packed. Packing the jar. Pack a quart sized jar full of the sauerkraut mixture. Push down with the back of your clean hand or other kitchen utensil. Leave a few inches at the top of the jar. Pack a few thick cabbage leaves on top and place a crock rock weight on top if you are using one. Place a plastic lid loosely on the jar or use a mesh lid covered with a cloth. Let it ferment in a cool dark place for 4 to 10 days at 67 to 72 degrees. We like to ferment ours for 7 days, but it all depends on how you like it. It is a good idea when you are new to raw cultured vegetables to taste test after day 4 or 5. The general rule for fermentation time is 1. In colder temperatures, use longer ferment times. 2. In warmer temperatures, use shorter ferment times. 3. Somewhere between 4 and 10 days, depending on personal taste preferences. Remove the cabbage leaves and some of the top layer, if needed, after the fermentation process is complete. Sometimes the top of the sauerkraut, if exposed to air, does not ferment and is a dingier color compared to the rest of the mix below it. This is not usually the case when you use a weight, but if so, this portion can simply be discarded. The texture of your sauerkraut should be soft but not mushy with a tangy taste that is slightly sweet. 
Salsa Sauerkraut Recipe. Ingredients. One half of a small purple cabbage, one cup of cherry tomatoes, a quarter cup of chopped onion, a half a clove of garlic, one small beet peeled, one carrot, one quarter cup of chopped red pepper, one eighth teaspoon of culture starter, one teaspoon of Celtic sea salt, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Directions. Core and chop purple cabbage and place in food processor. Process it until fine and moist. Place in large bowl. Next add tomato, onion, beet, carrot, garlic, red pepper, cayenne, sea salt, and culture starter to processor. Process the desired salsa-like texture. Add to bowl of cabbage. The salsa replaces the brine in this recipe. Packing the jar. Pack a quart-sized jar full of the sauerkraut mixture, one or two cups at a time. Push down with the back of your clean hand. Leave a few inches at the top of the jar. Pack in some thick cabbage leaves to completely cover the mix and place a crock weight if you are using one. Place a mesh lid with cloth or a loose plastic lid on top. Never screw lids on tight as your jar may explode from carbon dioxide pressure buildup. Let's sit for 4 to 10 days at 67 to 72 degrees. Because of the extra sugar content in this recipe, it may only take between 4 to 6 days to ferment. Taste test it after day 4 or 5 and see if it's how you like it. After your sauerkrauts are done and ready to eat, you should refrigerate them with a non-metallic lid as the acid content may react with and corrode certain metals like aluminum. Colder temps below 40 degrees prevents and stops the fermentation process. You can make them without salt, lemon, or even culture starters. We use added cultures in our recipes because they help to protect and inoculate the batches during the beginning stages of fermentation, but they are not totally necessary. As discussed, there are naturally occurring lactobacillus cultures present on most vegetables, especially cabbage. When kept at appropriate temperatures, they will qu quickly proliferate your ferments and begin the lacto-fermentation process. Can homemade sauerkraut ferments go bad? Yes, sauerkraut ferments can go bad. However, this is extremely rare, but can occur and in certain environments and climates that are not conducive to the growth of beneficial bacteria, you can get spoilage. This usually occurs if the atmospheric temperature exceeds 80 degrees, especially for an extended period of time. This means your kraut will smell bad as well as look bad as other not-so-friendly bacteria have taken over your ferment. Oftentimes this happens when your equipment has not been washed properly, along with a combination of higher fermentation temperatures. The color will often have a brown, darkish look to it, and the texture is usually slimy in nature. It will be obvious. Always use your intuition and throw it away if necessary. But that being said, remember that all sauerkraut has a strong pickled scent and can be especially potent when you use garlic or other pungent ingredients. In addition, all sauerkrauts change in color from their original pre-packed, vibrant, fresh look and will be slightly duller looking after they are cultured. Surface Mold or Scum Sometimes mold appears on the surface. Many books refer to this mold as scum, but I prefer to think of it as a bloom. Skim what you can off the surface, it will break up and you will probably not be able to remove all of it. Don't worry about this. It's just a surface phenomenon, a result of contact with the air. The crowd itself is under the anaerobic protection of the brine. Sandor cats. Professional fermentation vessels. Some of you avid sauerkraut recipe makers might like to purchase at some point a special professional fermentation crock designed specifically to make homemade sauerkraut. These are ceramic vessels, one to five gallons or larger, that come with weights, lids, and airlocks. We recommend these for anyone particularly sensitive to yeasts and molds or those interested in fermenting your batches for longer periods of time. Another less expensive option is to purchase a pickling device made especially for raw cultured vegetables. These are tubes attached to a lid the size of a wide mouth mason jar and include an airlock that releases carbon dioxide but prevents oxygen from entering the lid. 
how to eat your sauerkraut. We enjoy eating these sauerkraut recipes all by themselves as a snack food. A small portion works well when you get cravings for those less than healthy sweet or salty treats. Typically sauerkraut eaters use it as a condiment with meals. It is a great food for those with candida overgrowth to help balance microflora in the body and intestinal tract. For those of you who like to play around in the kitchen with cultural flavors and spices, there are many more possibilities for expanding your cultured vegetable recipe repertoire. In our Sauerkraut Recipes eBook, we share our top favorites with detailed recipes and tons more info about the culturing process. See the links below this video. Thanks for watching. And for more on fermented foods, visit superfoodsforsuperhealth.com. Please give us a thumbs up if you found this video useful.